Hi, welcome to this tutorial on solving equations that have logs in them. Now what we're going to look at is equations where the logs are in different bases. Like in this example, we have base 9 and base 3. This is the log of 4 in base 9 plus the log of x in base 3 equals 3. Now to solve questions like this, what we need to use is this particular formula, which you'll see in most formula books. But I would encourage you to learn it. What we're going to do is just use it in this tutorial. I'm not going to prove this to you. If you want a proof, then you can see this in one of my other tutorials. What it is saying is that the log of any number, a, in a given base, b, can be switched to another base, say base C, as long as you do the log of A in base C divided by the log of B in base C. So to do a question like this, we've got to change it to the same base, either base 3 or base 9. And what I'm going to do is two versions of this solution. The first version, I'm going to change it into base 3, and the second version, I'll do it in base 9. OK, so to start off then, we're going to change this term here, the log of 4 in base 9, into base 3. So comparing it with the formula, you can see that A is the 4 and the base B is 9. And we want to change it into base 3, so C will be 3. So according to the formula, this is going to be the log in base 3 of 4, the a value, which was 4, all divided by the log in base 3 of the b value, and the b value was the base, which was 9. Then we'll write in the next two terms, so that's plus the log in base 3 of x equals 3. Now the log of 9 in base 3 is 2, because 3 to the power 2, 3 squared, is 9. And you should know that result, OK? So we'll write that in. That's the log in base 3 of 4, all divided by 2, plus the log in base 3 of x equals 3. Now I need to remove the 2 by multiplying both sides of the equation by 2. And if I do that, we get the log in base 3 of 4 plus 2 log in base 3 of x equals 6. Now when we've done log equations in the past in the same base, what we need to do is reduce this to one term. One term on this side and one term on this side. We've already got our one term on this side, now we just need to combine these logs. And we can use the power rule first of all. That is that this particular term, 2 log in base 3 of x, is the same as the log in base 3 of x squared. We can bring the 2 up. So we'll do that next. So we have the log of 4 in base 3 plus the log of x squared in base 3 equals 6. Now I have a log plus another log and when you have this situation we can use the addition rule for logs which is that this becomes the log in base 3 of 4 multiplied by x squared so that's 4x squared and that equals 6. Now I need to anti-log this because I've got down to two terms now Anti-logging this means that 4x squared is exactly the same as the base 3 raised to the power 6. I can get x squared now by dividing both sides by 4. So x squared equals 3 to the power 6 divided by 4. And to get x, I need to square root both sides. So we have x equals the square root of 3 to 6 over 4. If you're to do that on a calculator, you find you get 27 divided by 2. OK, so 
That's one way of solving this equation by converting it to base 3. Now I did say that we could do this again by changing it into base 9. So we'll do that. We'll just copy the question down again. We've got the log of 4 in base 9 plus the log in base 3 of x equals 3. So the first term is OK. That's already in base 9. So we'll just write that down as the log of 4 in base 9. But we need to change this term into base 9. So using the change of base formula, you can see that a is the x and b is the base 3. And we want to change it to base 9, so c will be 9. So using that formula, we would get that this becomes the log in base 9 of x, all divided by the log in base 9 of 3. And this equals the 3 on the end here. Now, when we look at the denominator here, the log of 3 in base 9, this is a result that we should know. 9 raised to the power half, that is the square root of 9, equals 3. So the answer to the log of 3 in base 9 is a half. So we can write that in then, if we just copy down the first term, okay, the log of 4 in base 9 plus the log of x in base 9, all divided by a half equals 3. Now if I multiply top and bottom of this fraction by 2, I then get that the log of 4 in base 9 plus 2 log of x in base 9 equals 3. Again, I can use the power rule for logs by taking the 2 up as a power of x, so that's x squared. So we can have that this is the log of 4 in base 9 plus the log of x squared in base 9 and that equals 3. Using the addition rule now for logs I can create one log term on this side. This becomes the log of 4 times x squared in base 9 so that's 4x squared and that equals 3. Anti-logging this means that I now have 4x squared equals 9 to the power 3. And if I divide both sides by 4, I have x squared equals 9 cubed divided by 4. If I square root both sides, do it on a calculator, you'll find that you'll get 27 over 2. The same answer as we had before. So it doesn't matter whether you change them into base 9 or base 3, this equation, you can see it works either way. OK, so hopefully you've been able to follow that and you can model any other question you do where you're dealing with logs in different bases on these two examples.